and uh, and then there was this thing about like a leak where there was like a leak of like first draft of a potential like male protagonist that was not actually in the game at that point because decided not to go through the male protagonist or I don't remember exactly what it was and people got upset about it they got upset about a and this is this is the problem with those kind of leaks I think leaks in general I think leaks are more harmful that they can be useful uh, that said, I think, oh, you get the leak of, like, an upcoming character. What's the harm? Well, people maybe will be less excited because they'll know in advance before the company gets to do the official announcement, right? But at the end of the day, you can be like, okay, so I know this character is going to come, come out. I can save for the character. Oh, this is what the character does. Fair enough. That's pretty cool. I, I can start saving for that. I want that character. That, I think that's fine. But when it comes to story or scrap content or early builds of a very, very, very subjected to change thing. I think that's when the problem becomes and I think that's when it creates issues. We saw that happen time and time and time again with like Genshin Impact and the whole drama with children's uh, dance routine uh, because they first modeled the dance uh, by using a reference which was like a girl doing a TikTok whatever uh, and even though it was not actually the dance that they ended up using in the game, because that part got leaked, they, it created a lot of backlash in the community, right? Now we got issues with like, you know, early draft of a character being released, even though they decided not to put it in the game. People get mad even though it doesn't even exist anymore. And, um... And I, I, I think it's, it's becoming really problematic, to be honest. Uh, I think those leaks specifically are really harmful. Now, obviously, there's the idea that, like, okay, well, maybe the problem is, like, people taking it seriously. And, yeah, sure. I mean, I see those leaks, I'm like, this is a non-issue. But, at the end of the day, um, some of the people in, on the internet take those things very seriously. And when it has a direct impact on the company because they suffer so much backlash, like, you know, I don't know, being reported to government like officials and stuff like that. Yes, it's obviously the fault of the consumers, but also, I mean, this is a direct result made by people leaking stuff that is not relevant to the current state of the game and causing those, you know, unreasonable people to overact, you know, to react in a very... Uh, distorted and overblown manner. Um, so I think this all really suck. I don't know if there's like a, a good way to fix that, of course. I feel like, to be fair, like if you look at Zen Lesson Zero, I think they've been, they managed to keep things on the wrap for a long time. Like I feel like Miyabi and uh, even, what's his name? Uh, Lighter has been, not Lighter, sorry, um, Haramusa Masa, uh, Azuba, the Archer guy in CCC. I think the Archer guy doesn't even have his uh, his kit available yet. Like, he's not even in the beta. So, like, I feel like they managed to actually keep those things on the wrap for a long time.